I send my fervent greetings to everybody. Today, the course that we are coming to treat is natural environment. And the topic is theories of the environment. And I must say that these are the theories in the course that we are doing. The study indicators are the following. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to, one, state at least three theories of the natural environment. And the next one is to explain three theories of the natural environment, at least. I must say that there are several theories in the course that we are doing. Theories that explain the relationship between the environment and humanity. But with respect to this course, we are looking at five. And this will include environmental determinism, environmental possibilism, environmental probabilism, nature theory, and nature theory. These are the theories that we'll be looking at today. Our first theory that we will look at is the environmental determinism. What is it at all? Generally, people think that the environment has significant impact on you as a person, on me as a person. And so, environmental determinism is of the view that the physical, natural, or geographic environment rigidly controls human action. In other words, is the theory that the people's physical, mental, and moral habits are directly due to their natural environment. So this is what they are saying, that your environment will influence your existence. It could be the food you eat, it could be the clothes that you put on yourself, it could be the kind, the culture, your even kinship. The environment can influence your behavior. That is according to the environmental determinism. To them, the, the environmental determinism pro proponent postulates that the geographic environment is the primary control of human life. For example, proponents of the environmental determinism include Carreta, Ellen Churchill Semple, and Ellsworth Hutchinson, among several others. All these people believe that the environment has some kind of influence on your life. Now, to them, they believe that the environment can influence your life in the following ways. One, the environment can influence the food that you eat. Those, for example, those found in the grass are likely to have cereals as their staple foods, as compared to those in the forest zones who have access to tubers among several others. This is what they are saying, that the environment can influence the food that you eat. Let's look at it this way. These people believe that those, when you take Ghana, for example, those in the northern zones mostly eat from cereals because they are in the grassland zones. So they eat the millet, the maize, among several others. As compared to those at the southern portions, because we are in the forest zone, we normally consume the tubers. And so we have the jam, the cassava, among several others. Because probably we are in the forest zone. That is their thinking. So they believe that your environment can influence the kind of food that you eat. They also believe that the environment can influence the type of clothes you wear. For example, those in the temperate zones are likely to put on pullovers as compared to those in the tropical zones. You and I, because we find ourselves in the tropical zones, probably under normal circumstances, we are likely to put on sleeveless as compared to those in the temperate zones, those in the Scandinavia, those in countries such as Iceland, Finland, Norway, Sweden, come to the other areas like European countries, UK among several others, are likely to put on pullovers, particularly in winter seasons, compared to those of us. 
in the tropical zones because of their high temperatures we are likely to put on sleeveless in summers those in the temperate zones are likely to put on sleeveless as against putting on pullovers because of the variations in weather conditions and so that is their thinking that the environment can influence the type of clothes that you even put on and in that manner the environment is influencing the kind your behavior as human being let's take Ghana for example some proponents believe that the environmental determinism theory even influences our kinship to them those in the northern part of the country and skin because of their availability of probably cattle and so they are able to get they they easily have access to the skin of the cattle and so they and skin as compared to those at the southern part of the country because of their forest they earn tools because they have access to trees to carve their tools and so they earn tools this among several other things are the thinking of the environmental determinist those who believe that the environment influences humanity the way you you think what you eat what you wear to them the environment decides for you what you can do then we have another theory called environmental possibilism remember that the environmental determinism proponents believe the environment influences you but the environmental possibilism people are saying that you the human being can influence the environment now to them or according to the proponent or to this theory the physical environment is passive and that man is the active agent at liberty to choose between a wide range of environmental possibilities so according to the environmental possibilist they believe that human beings can rather influence the environment proponents such as favor is one of the well known in this realm of environmental possibilism how can you then influence your environment according to the possibilism proponent the pattern of him of human activity is the result of the initiative and mobility of man operating within the natural framework today the role of the natural environment in conditioning though not controlling human activities is often lost sight of so for example to this environmental possibilism people you can bulldoze a place and build and so we see places where initially it was a water zone or river channel but human beings are able to control fill the place and build for example human beings are able to push the sea to build houses in the sea and several examples of this kind abound sometimes you can see forest and with that people can just bulldoze or degrade the area and build and so to these people human beings can influence the environment and these are the people or this is the theory referred to as environmental possibilism that human beings are the active agent of their environment you can decide to build human beings can in their creative minds or innovative minds can build cars that can probably shorten the, the number of hours one could travel to a place and so these people believe that human beings have control over the environment as against the environmental determinist people who believe that the environment rather influences you under possibilism man is giving more prominence and his activities are stressed so in the possibilism thinking you always see man taking the active part controlling the environmental issues ensuring that he or the female human being trying to influence the environment to suit him or her so man is not looked upon as a passive being he is seen as the active force reacting on his environment and changing it 
So to them, you can change your environment. So Fever put it that man is geographical agent and not the least. He everywhere contributes his share towards investing the physiognomy of the earth with those changing expressions. So you can change the face of the earth. That is the word, the meaning of the word physiognomy. You can change the nomenclature of the earth. You can change the face of the earth. That is according to Fever. And these are the environmental possibilists. To favor, there are no necessities, but everywhere possibilities. A man as master of these possibilities is the judge of their own use. This by the reversal, which it involves, puts man in the first place. Man and no longer the earth, nor the influence of climate, nor the determinant conditions of localities. So like I was saying earlier, irrespective of where you find yourself, According to the possibilist people or proponent, you can change your situation. So sitting somewhere complaining that the environment influenced you to for, um, for you to have that situation, to them, to the possibilist, they do not believe in that. And this can also be achieved through innovations and technological advancement. To the possibilist, innovations creativity, technological advancement can help us to change our environment. That is why previously I said that now people are building in seas. Now people can travel under seas. That is why we have um, submarines traveling beneath seas among several others. Now through technology, people are traveling in the air among several others. So technology has helped man to influence the, uh, the environment instead of the environment influencing man and these are according to the environmental possibilities proponent then we have the environmental probabilism already we have talked about the environment influencing man that is environmental determinism then we have other people saying that man inf can influence the environment that is environmental possibilism now we have environmental probabilism. To these people, they believe and think that both influence each other. To them, the environment influences man, and man influences the environment. So they suggest that some choices, for example, such as a good deal, are more likely than others. And it is the concept that though the environment does not necessarily determine human actions, it does make some development of patterns probable and others unlikely, especially if particular social and economic conditions be assumed. In summary, proponents of this theory believe that both human and the environment influence each other. So to them, the environment can influence you to wear certain things, certain clothes. In the same vein, you, man, can influence the environment by probably adapting to it. That is the environmental probabilist people. And so, human beings realizing that during winter, in the temperate zones, the te temperatures are very low, human beings are able to adapt by trying to manufacture pullovers, sweaters, among several others, to combat the environment. In summer, those in those um, temperate regions try to manufacture sleep, sleeveless and wear them just to adapt to their environment and that brings us to the environmental probabilism that the environment can influence human beings and human beings can influence the environment this brings us to the next theory that is the nature theory for the nature theory or the nature theories they believe that there are certain things that you are born with which cannot be changed. It is inherent. It is genetic. And so if your parents behave in a certain manner and you are, they give birth to you and you pick that genes from them, you are likely to exhibit the same thing. So to them, things that human beings or behaviors that human beings exhibit are as a result of our genetic component within us 
So they say that nature is what we think of as a pre-wiring and is influenced by genetic inheritance and other biological factors. That is to them, to the nature theorists. And the nature theories are popularly referred to as the empiricists. They believe that whatever that we are exhibiting is from our genetic factors. We are born with. Now, we can move on to the nature theory. For the nature theory, they believe that you are where you live. Your environment influences you. So probably a child brought up in a compound house may exhibit different attitude from a child brought up from a flat or an apartment. Because your environment can influence your behavior, attitude, and everything. That is according to the nature theories, the behaviorists. Don't forget I said the nature theory theories think that the things or the attitudes that you exhibit are genetic, are inherent. But the nature theories are saying that the environment can influence you to behave in a certain way. My student, at this point I think you can draw some kind of linkages. You can draw which theory links to the other. Somebody can say that the nature theories can be linked to the environmental determinism and the nature theory can be linked to the environmental possibilism. This brings us to the end of our class today. Thank you.